What I want to do today is connect our Slack and Google Task apps so that whenever a new message is sent out into Slack, a new task will be created in Google Tasks. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial, so you could try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Slack to trigger my Google Tasks app, I'll need to use Slack as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Slack sees a new message is sent out into our selected Slack channel, it's going to run this workflow. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Message Posted to Channel as my event and click Continue. The first time we set up Slack, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Slack account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. Next, we'll need to set up our trigger apps data. Click the channel you want to use for your Zap. I'm going to click Tasks and then click Continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Let's move on to our action step. Type in Google Tasks into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click Create Task and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Google Tasks with Zapier, just like I did with my Slack account. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier has got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and it's time to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps field. First, pick the task where your task is located under Task List. I'm going to click My Tasks. Next, under the title screen, I'm going to type in a custom message. I'll click Username and then I'll type Request. Under the Notes section, I'll click Text and click Continue. Click test action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime a new message is sent out into Slack, a new task will be created in our selected Google Tasks. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier could do so much more with these two apps than thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.